I mean, I literally flew in today, fly out again tomorrow morning, go and try to have like a little bit of time off tonight, go and try to have some dinner somewhere and like explore a little bit. But um, yeah, I want I need to come back where I'm not uh, working. I was only here when I was 19, I was a student. I mean, I got a boat here, I, I had no money. Like I, got, I came here on, a, on like a ferry boat from like the north of England where I was at university at the time. Um, so I'd like to be here in a more sort of, in a more sort of sophisticated way. <laughs> and uh, as, a, as an adult and with more than sort of 10 pounds in my pocket or whatever I would have had like 18 years ago as a student. So I'd like to do it properly and, and experience the culture more because we just like, we just were just wrecked the whole time we were here 18 years ago. I mean, I was, I was doing, I was, uh, I don't even remember what we did. Like, I mean, I was doing a mar uh, marketing degree at university at the time. I think we, I think we only came over for like two nights on the boat and we just, you know, did what people do in Amsterdam when you're 19, just got stoned and drank a lot and walked about like idiots. We're probably the sort of people you don't want in Amsterdam. <laughs> Sat in coffee shops and, you know, and I mean, we got bikes at one point. I remember being on a bicycle, but I don't know where we got them. I don't remember. It was a blur. It was, a, it was nearly 20 years ago. It was a long time. <laughs> I'm not here for long enough, but I'm going to come back with my wife and maybe my kids soon and do it properly. Yeah, I'd love to bring my kids here and um, I feel like it's probably quite a cool place to bring a family as well. So um, I'll probably bring the kids here, see if I can get my wife and kids to come over at some point. But yeah, I'd love to do it properly and spend like a you know, week here or something and, and not have work commitments to do. You know, I get to travel a lot for my work and mm -hmm. usually we try to get the family to come to wherever I'm shooting and, and that becomes a vacation for them. I made a movie in Mexico this summer and they came for like three weeks in the middle and you know, it was like a family holiday, so it was cool. But I've made those friends, you know, over the years. My One of my best friends has is, is just got engaged to a Dutch girl, so. Um, I feel like Dutch people have been in and out of my life, and, uh, you know, in my adult life. So uh, I've always been so drawn to Dutch people. I like them. I'm here to uh, to talk about um, my role as an ambassador for Boss Ascent, which I've uh, been doing for um, I think like a year and a half now. So um, yeah, it's a it's a privilege to get to come to places like this and and talk about it and and, and try to promote the the brand. So. Uh, yeah, that's why. I mean, it's, uh, I love it because I think it's like a really great everyday fragrance. I think you can wear it in, for any occasion and all year round. It's not like just like a summer fragrance or a winter mm -hmm. fragrance. And um, it's built on being sensual. It's incredible, yeah. Uh, yeah, I thought she was brilliant. Um, she was so sweet because she'd never done anything with a, a motion camera before. Mm -hmm. Um, she'd only done stills, um, so she had lots of questions about like <laughs> how to be and stuff. And, uh, but she's so sweet, and every time I get to see her when we're promoting stuff, um, she always brings a smile to my face, and she's very cool. I, I, I've sort of had a love-hate relationship with Perth, I think, over the years in terms of sometimes I really enjoy wearing it, and sometimes I, I sort of don't, and then you find one that you can wear every day, and mm -hmm. then it then makes life a lot easier. But I have a real thing about people who wear too much fragrance. I don't, I don't like it. Um, and there's a lot of people who seem to want to wear like a lot of it. Um, so yeah, my thing is like less is more with fragrance. I have five movies coming out in 2020, um, all very different, um, ranging from like animation to sci-fi to uh, romance, to, like a romantic movie I just shot in uh, Ireland. Uh, so yeah, very, uh, and to the film I did with Drake, we shot the commercial for this, mm -hmm. and, which is again very romantic, but like, um, uh, it's called Endings, Beginnings, I get, yeah, so I've, I've a lot of very different movies coming up. Oh. I've been quite lucky in that I've got to play a lot of different types of characters mm -hmm. so far, and different genres and worlds I've got to explore, and that's all you can really ask for as an actor, you know, I feel like that, that variety is like what it's all, uh, all about, you know. Um, I would never want to be an act, one of those actors who only does action movies or only does, you know, comedies or whatever it is, you know, um, that would, I think I'd get bored, you know, and I've been lucky so far that I get that real mix.